Hey everyone, this is Miss Scarlet Tanager back with some Let's Play Paris at E. We are now on day two with the subtitle Fusion. Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. I wish I could, but I, I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives, well, and no close friends. She was sick often, always on some kind of medication. She was always on lots and lots and lots and lots of drugs. She had a slight bit of a drug problem, apparently. All right after right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication because, of course, you don't. Eve saw to that, <laughs> and my microphone just fell. There we go. So what is the spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What, like with one of those ESP things? <laughs> That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. Damn straight, Warner. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, A is the only witness so far. Except her boyfriend. Who apparently survived. Quote unquote boyfriend. So many cutscenes. There's actually a surprising number of cutscenes in this game. It's a lot of talking. I have a subscriber and give us a to Torres. He'll help you out. Okay. I don't think I've ever actually used the mod permits. <laughs> I keep meaning to, but I never find a gun that I like that I want to use them on. <laughs> Yay, music! Good music. Oh god, door, how do I open you? There we go. Hitboxes for the doors are so small! <laughs> okay, so they want us to go talk to Torres and Wayne. Wayne and Torres, people from Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> Even though I think this came out before IX did. <gasps> I'm just gonna steal your box here, is that okay? Yeah, it's okay, eh? I mean, it is you. Take everything, take that AK-47! Oh, there's another box. I almost missed that. Tool! We have a tool! Hey there, good looking! Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy? Who knows? So what's gonna be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? I'll take the rocket launcher! <laughs> Somebody's been caught! Yeah, the last thing you need to do is get the, um, protectors to rocket launcher. Do police? Do American police departments actually have rocket launchers? Like, a goddamn javelin missile or something? That would be terrifying! Especially because you hear so many stories about police brutality in the U.S. <laughs> the case last night, heard it was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. Well, I think they'll rely on them anyway. <sighs> also, adjust the microphone again, sorry about that. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. I need a way to defend myself against the giant monsters! Have you seen what's out there? Apparently not. Bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum. <laughs> Aww, I don't get the rocket launcher. Jackass. I need something to say after. No, no sir! <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll leave some items. Yeah, this is essentially your storage unit because you do have a limited, um, add-on capacity until you spend points to up it. I'm probably not gonna use the mod permit for now. That seems good. <sighs> Most powerful gun I can light have. Ah! <laughs> I will take that. I don't want you to turn up my gun. Screw you. I want to what I want to do. I'm not entirely sure. 
Game, I don't care about your tutorials. I played this game before. I know how to use the damn tools. Okay. Yes, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay. Anyway, that entire spiel, it was to, you know, tell you about this. You can use a tool or a super tool, and we have one tool to tune up weapons. And as you can see, that is vastly more powerful than our dinky little handgun. So first, we are going to equip it. And then we are going to use the tool that we have to... Um, wait a minute, what did I do wrong there? This... With this. Okay, yes. There we go. Now we have more stuff on this gun, so it's even more powerful, but we no longer have that tool. So that's kind of how it runs. Okay. Yep, might as well store some equipment. It's not like I'm going to be using any of this shit. Wait, what's the Kevlar vest? Oh, also, I don't think you can actually um, give him the Tomfa baton, the little club there. Because of the fact that you always need to have something on your person. There we go. Yeah, Kevlar bus is better. We will keep the NY protector on us, though. For reasons. Don't need this, though. Um, yeah, see if I was to equip the melee weapon, the Tonfa. It always wants to make sure that you have something on hand at all times to attack with. Looks good. Onward to adventure. And music! Oh, it's a little boy. What the hell are you doing here? You probably should be out of New York City by this point. Or Manhattan Island. <laughs> hey there, you lost? Uh, Ben? Daddy! Aw, it's his little boy. The one that he abandoned on Christmas Eve. Ben, this is Aya. Now, what are you doing here? Here. Tickets? Oh yeah, the concert. Sorry, son. Daddy's real busy today. I promise I'll make up for- Fine! Runs away. <laughs> ben! Must be hard to be the child of a policeman. Police officer. Police person. Law enforcement person thing. Well, his mother's still alive. Okay, where the hell am I going? <laughs> Hi, honey bun. Bye, honey bun. I'm gonna go talk to the chief of police. That seems like a good idea. Hey, Mr. Chief, I got a modded gun. Wanna, wanna see me play with it? <laughs> Sir? Felt the need for a mini cutscene there, and then it felt the need to make me run across the room. <laughs> You're looking for me? <sighs> yes, we're having a press conference now, and I want you there too. Me? That's right, you'll be the star <laughs> national television is the sole survivor of that incident. They keep talking about how people ran out of the theater, like her, um, quote-unquote date, and her date was fine, yet apparently she's the sole survivor. How does that make sense, unless, uh, Eve hunted every single per other person down within the last couple hours, and brutally set them on fire and murdered them. Oh, great. We're going to meet the press. This isn't going to end well. I was saying this could be a work of a terrorist. Oh, America. <laughs> this is what we currently speculate. How about a, how about a cancer fireman at the scene bursting into flames? That was... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to skip that. Another question. And how did Detective Aya survive without so much as a minor burn? That was a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She said my mitochondria were a mutation. God damn it, Aya! 
Way to cause the public to panic! Huh? Your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa, no, she said she was Eve. But according to the report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire! Melissa did die. Her body has been taken over by this Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of alien? Oh god. And now she sounds crazy! People, people, please. She is very tired and we are still investigating. That will be all for today. Damn it, Aya! <laughs> she knows so little about these things. Aya, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. Boom! That's not the point. Who's going to believe you? You only stir up the media and cause people to panic. So, she was only... She was only phone. She was phone. Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Me? You'll have to speak up. Oh, this, that, that, uh, that Daniel voice, damn it! Yes, what? Yes, all right. Some Japanese scientist, I think. I couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some mito something. Says he's coming over here. Might o? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing? Oh god, now we're gonna get a science lecture! Yeah! <laughs> oh wait, the science lecture is, comes in a bit. <laughs> but the th I just wanna listen, sit here and listen to this music for a bit. Okay. <laughs> a new theory on them! So I'm taking it to go talk to this researcher. Better go before the media. <laughs> Good plan, Baker. They're but the media are probably already there. They have a talent for that. Come on, dude. Okay. Ooh, ooh, is this where you get the uh, needlessly gratuitous cop scene? Please say yes. I love how she just touches, like, taps the center of the doors and they fling open. Oh, darn it! I wanted the needlessly gratuitous scene! Yeah, we can go back to Carnegie Hall and get a whole bunch of- and get extra stuff if we missed anything, but we didn't! So, we're going to the museum. Oh, runny nose again! Damn it! We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Dr. Clamp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria is something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum? Actually, apparently it happens all the time! Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're gonna have a grand time with this one. Good? <laughs> well said, Aya! <laughs> I know where you're going with this, but just be careful. Are you referring to the press conference? <laughs> Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? <laughs> Aww. You joined at the same time, but, uh... But Baker got promoted before Daniel. I wonder if that has to do with racism in the department. Wait for it, wait for it. You see that, guys? Set of the screen? That is a chocobo! <laughs> They're having a dinosaur museum exhibit, and they saw fit to put a chocobo on the banner. <laughs> it's been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaurs! Love these things when I was a kid, you're not going to in a bit. <laughs> it's all snowy. Listen to that crunching snow. Crunch, 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 crunch. Okay. I'm done. For now. Hey there, how you doing? Do okay? Pretty cold day though. How about yourself? We're with the NYP- uh, Just get right into it. We're looking for Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. I 
And did he do something? Now nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Isn't that what the police always say?